Hey, what is up you guys? Today we're going to be going over four locations that are great for farming XP. Now, I'm not going to be going over White Spring Golf Course because everyone knows about it, although it is a really good place to grind. I would highly recommend it, but I'm going to be going over locations that I almost never see players at, and they are actually really decent locations. So, without further ado, let's get on to location number one. So the first location is Bolton Greens, which I didn't actually show it on the map, but it is in the forest region, and it is southeast of vault University. And what you're going to do is you're going to go inside the building, and you are going to speak to Billingsley, and he's going to tell you that he needs help for preparing for his, in quote, Halloween gala. And all you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to find and escort the waiters, there's five of them, and you will have to find and place the centerpieces and you will get XP for it and the rewards base the rewards basically consist of most of the time I get plans and a couple stim packs right away so it's not really great rewards but the XP is what you're looking for and you're gonna really want to kill off the enemies as they're coming in because that's what's gonna get you the most XP with this event the enemies usually are scorched but I have seen super mutants before too and they range from about level 1 to level 10 so they are incredibly easy to kill. I can kill them one hit and yeah this is one of my favorite events to do it is actually right nearby my camp like my camp is literally right next to it the second I spawn in at my camp it will tell me that the event has started so I'll just run over there and do it really quickly but enough of me rambling on about how much I love this event let's move on to location number two so for the next location, we have Grafton Steel, which is in the Toxic Valley region. Obviously, it's part of Grafton. And there are a ton of super mutants here. They usually range from level 5 to level 30. And if you are a lower level player, I would recommend that you wear power armor or some kind of heavy armor because since there are so many, you will probably die multiple times trying to kill them off. But, once you have killed them all off, you will have not only a fuck ton of XP, but you'll also have the ability to claim the workshop at Grafton Steel Yard. So, if you're bored and you're strolling through Toxic Valley, I would recommend that you just go to Grafton Steel and get some of the added XP. And now we move on to Location 3. So, for the third location, we're at Summersville, which is in the forest region. It is south of the Sutton Station, and this is a super mutant camp. They are usually level 5, but I have seen a couple level 10s here and there. So this is a very easy location to grind as well. This is actually one of the first locations I ever did take the time to grind when I was a new player. Now you might think that I am a fairly new player now because I'm only at level 40 since the making of this video. However, I have been playing the game since its release. I just don't play it enough to be at level 100 or more than that. But I promise you, I will get there quite soon, actually, because I am actually really focusing on Fallout 76 more than any other game, because I want to make more videos like this. But anyways, let's move on to the final location. So the final location can actually vary depending on which power plant you want to go to, but there will be the event called Powering Up Blank Power Plant and you will just complete that event and you'll get a ton of XP for it. You know, you just gotta repair the reactor, generator, and cooling system. Now there will be a ton of enemies, obviously. Most everyone who has played Fallout 76 has claimed a workshop at one point. There are a ton of enemies and they do vary. Usually, I, from my experience, I have seen a lot of mole miners and feral ghouls, but you can also find scorched super mutants. Most of the time, the enemies will be around the same level as you, if not a little bit lower. I have yet to really stumble across enemies that are like 10, 20 levels higher than me. So it is fairly easy to kill them off. Again, I would recommend power armor if you are lower level or just if you don't want to waste all your stim packs. But once you've completed the event, then it will have let you have the ability to unlock the workshop. And then about 10 to 15 seconds after you've claimed the workshop, you're going to get the event to defend the workshop, which you will just get a wave of some random creature. And you kill them off super quickly if you plant turrets. 
And uh, yeah, that's that's all I really gotta say about about workshops. But now we're going to be talking about benefits that you can use, such as consumables, to help with your XP gain. The easiest one that you can do is sleep in a bed for like 20-30 seconds and you will get a well-rested perk which will give you 5% added XP for an hour. You can use consumables such as the leader bobblehead which gives you a 5% XP gain. The magazine Live and Love issue number 8 which gives you bonus XP if you're on a team and you can also make and eat cranberry relish which I think gives you up to 15% XP don't quote me on that but I think it's a 15% XP gain for a period of time if you use these consumables as well as go to the locations that I listed then I guarantee you will level up quickly and be able to master Fallout 76. So I hope you found this video helpful or mildly entertaining. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content in the near future. Peace dudes.